This video was brought to you by Stoinberg, Abed Rue Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in the Opel Mucca E, and this is going to be the driving ASMR video. So, as requested from some people, they want to get a feel of what the car sounds like, looks like, uh, without the music, just, you know, the, yeah, just how it drives and drives and what kind of sounds it makes. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to show you. Turn signal sound. The horn. I'm coming! Yeah, see? Get out of the way! Okay, anyway, let's go, let's go. Um, okay, and it's fairly quick. Well, I mean, it's only 136 horsepower. But right now we are in the normal mode. If I switch it to eco mode, it becomes more sluggish. And I believe that with the, the Stellantis cars, you know, the one with 50 kilowatt hour battery and 136 horsepower, I've seen in the spec sheet that if you have it in eco mode, you will in fact have less horsepower available. So in, you have to switch it to normal to get more horsepower. And then in sport mode, you're supposed to get all the horsepower available. Unlike the Korean cars like Kona, e Niro, uh, the newest Ionic, which is that even in eco mode, if you just floor it, uh, you will get all the power available. But okay, anyway. So this car is closest to E28 in terms of size but it seems to be a little bit taller than E28, if I remember correctly. It's been a year now since I tried the E28, but one thing I do remember with the E28 was that it was quite noisy. This one, however, is not noisy. It's about as quiet as the other cars, the EDS3 and the, uh, the EC4, except for the E2008. I don't know why, but the E2008 was quite, it was a way, a way it was more quiet than the other ones, yeah. <clears throat> But when it comes to handling and ride and all that, uh, the E28 was very sporty. I like it also. It was the sportiness. I just didn't like the, the constant noise. Oh, let's test some speed bumps. Yes. And that should be a, a mandatory part of this route to test some speed bumps. Okay, let's uh, go around here. It seems to go nice over the speed bumps. Um, but when it comes to ride, since it's a bit taller, I uh, haven't done my homework, but I just look under the car or around the car and I see that it seems like this one has higher uh, ground clearance than the E28. So it's like a, I'm not sure if I should call it a, a cost throw. It's definitely not an SUV. <laughs> Too many car manufacturers now, they tend to call the cars SUV, but it's like, uh, I think at one point uh, Kia called the E-Soul. The e or the soul, they call it SUV, and that's no, no, that's that's a crossover, buddy. That's not an SUV. SUV would be something like uh, uh, Tahoe or something big, you know. Uh, Model X, I would call it an SUV. Maybe the Fat E-Tron, yeah. But okay, so it's nice and comfy uh, riding around here, uh, quiet, and um, but it has that that slight. Uh, crossover feel when you when you do it like this you know okay not as bad well, not as bad but it doesn't wag like a boat like the, the the EC4 the EC4 was really really like whoa like a boat so especially I remember when I um, when I accelerated let's try with this one uh, the EC4 when you once you hammer it the front went up like crazy this one it goes up a little bit but not not that much so it's like somewhere in the middle you know sportiness of tightness is more like e28 but not right there but not so loose not like a boat <laughs> so that's good because that means you can choose your perfect car and if you want the green car you can get this one this one is very green yeah it is literally green <laughs> wait can we just hammer no and the same with the other cars when you regen you hear a little bit of that is uh, i believe that's the real motor sound um i don't know if this one is equipped with vest maybe maybe not but yeah you see it will 
it will go a little bit up when I hammer it. Wait, is that the x -Peng? Yeah, it's x uh, G3, huh? A blue one. Okay, now the next test is to try it on the motorway. Wait, wait, what? Is that guy going... Are you gonna go to the left or are you gonna... Why is it that every time I come here, people are just driving in the middle of the... Yeah, it's okay. He could have ninja passed there, you know, if he was just enough of a ninja. Well, okay. Now let's try the motorway because this car is equipped with auto steer. So I want to test out how it is. And I guess we can try to hammer it, but I have a fossil in front. And okay, okay, let's go. Oh, go! Yeah, I don't know why people think that every time I make those. Are we gonna make it? I'm not sure. People think I fart, you know? Like, that's not farting. I actually have a clip that I edited out, that I really farted. Oh, I think it's around 10 in the morning now. Uh, oh, shit. That was a fart, yeah. Yeah, so now you guys have heard it. There is no doubt. If I fart, you know that I fart. All the other sounds, like, eh, are we gonna make it? Yeah, it's not farting. Okay, anyway. Let me see, let's try, I uh, set the cruise control, okay, and then I use this one, and we now have auto steer. Huh? It does a pretty, okay, now I, I, I've changed my mind, I'm gonna go over here. Don't wanna drive too far, otherwise I get stuck in the tango, I get, I get lost in translation. Okay, um, I guess we'll just turn around and try again, uh, not too big stretch here, but I don't wanna make this video too long, but, Maybe I should shut up because you guys want to hear. Yeah, let's do the the driving ASMR. Ah oh, shit! Get stuck behind a leaf. Well, I could only shut up for fifteen seconds. But okay, well, let's me. I was was going to try to hammer out here, but. Why well, he's going for it? He's going for it? Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. You wanna? Uh, 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 you me? You me? Uh, you me? You me? Uh, uh, today? Uh, now? Now? Uh, let's go! Let's go! Wow, there's so many EVs here. Holy guacamole! Look at that. Ionic Model Three. Okay, I wanna try that auto stair again. Okay, let me see. Uh, let me. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Um, let me resume this one. Okay, and then auto stair is active. Well, actually, it's not active yet. I have to wait, 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 wait. There, there, now it's active. There's no no sound that is active or inactive. It's on now. You don't have to touch the steering wheel. You could just, I don't know, you, the other hand is doing something else right now. Um, so you see over here, it works great. But once you go over 120 kilometers per hour, it seems to struggle. It tries to hug the left lane, try to kill me. I mean, hug, hug the right lane. Like now it's doing all this stuff. Yeah, okay, let's take over. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Shit. So at least the auto stair is working, but it doesn't always work that great. But at least we have auto stair. Uh, it's not that ping pong, which is, uh, yeah, when well, I say polizai, yo, what's up? You know, uh, I have friends watching me, the polizai. So, yeah, that's, I guess that's good and bad. Yeah. But okay, let's not make this video too long. So, um, you can see that uh, driving around here, uh, we have okay side support in the seats when you go like this. And then the, yeah, the traction control limits my power. And then when it comes to region, um, I have B mode now. <clears throat> Always drive in B mode, now we have in D mode. And then I can see that if I press the, yeah, if I press the brake gently, I will get more region. So it's the blending brake. Most EVs, they have that, uh, except for the, Fusu e Conte, but that's a truck, that's a different story. But but I prefer using B mode because you will then have more region, for example, if you go a little bit faster now, and you just let off the accelerator, you will then region more than if you are in B mode. Oh, sorry, D mode. D, D, D mode. B. D. D mode, yeah. <clears throat> but what you can do, you can have it in D mode. Sorry, you can have it in B mode, yeah, like me, like a ninja. And then, when you're driving, you know, and you're just slowing down, but you don't want to slow down that much, what you can do is you can gently tap the accelerator 
then you achieve the same thing as using D mode, but you then don't have to touch the brake pedal so often if you have it in D mode versus B mode. So that's why I always use B mode. People are like, ah, Bjorn, but you're gonna save more energy by using D mode. You did, you made a mistake every time by using B mode. I'm like, no, no, dude, I don't, I don't. Okay, just stop, stop, okay? Stop, yeah. Okay, so now you guys have a little exp like impression of uh, what it looks like, what it sounds like with uh, this car. Um, I'm still new to this format, but, but maybe people like it. I'm still waiting for some feedback, if they like it or not, because it doesn't take too much, too much of me to do it. And I feel like it gives, it gives a nice aspect of the car. I mean, yeah, like it gives you a nice... Wait, is that guy going to... Okay. You can hear the sounds. You can... It's almost like you're sitting here. You can get an impression of how the, how the car rides over bumps, how it wags, how it feels like. You know, I'm like the extension of your arm, your legs, your eyes, your ears, yeah. So uh, maybe not every limb on your body, <laughs> but at least most of it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some stuff you have to do yourself, buddy. Yeah, but okay, anyway. So um, I think that's gonna be it. Whoa, is that the, that's, a, that's an Ionic fossil. Why would you buy an, a fossil Ionic in Norway? Man. Okay, anyway, let's stop here in front of Folkets Kebab, Texas Burger. Where? Texas Burger went away a long time ago. It's Folkets Kebab now. Yeah, so here you go. Yeah, I guess that's it. Well, I've been driving in sport mode, by the way, but, but that's, that's my. Well, I have 95% left. I used, I used only 3% on this trip. What? Okay, well, all is good. Yeah, so anyway, do you guys like this new format? Huh? Do you want more of it? Should I test like this? for every car I borrow? Or should I skip some of it? I think I should test it because actually, um, when I do range tests of the same PSA or Stellantis platform, it's not that different. Same for, for the, the EM, M, 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 MEB platform. We have the same battery, we have the same motor. So there's not much difference there. And the range test takes a lot of time. And the result is that, oh, okay, we have the same range as the other MEB cars <laughs> or the same range as the other uh, Stellantis cars, right? But what I found out is that this one and uh, the EC4 or the E28, um, they, they sound and feel and write quite differently. So that's why maybe I think it should be uh, important and interesting to test this. So again, let me know what you guys think. I'm just rambling now, so I'm just going to end it here. Uh, before I lose even more subscribers. <laughs> so that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.